All right, guys, on today's video, we are back on the PlayStation 2. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you how you install the uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulator. The emulator is called InfoGB. I'm going to be leaving you two links in the pinned comment. One for my page and one for the official site where you're going to be able to get the download for the emulator. So first, we're going to go to the website. Uh, so here's the website, PS2 slash home. Um, so you're going to scroll down on the page until you find the PS2 info GB dot zip. So download it there. Um, it's going to come in a zip format. So you're going to have to unzip it using 7-zip or WinRAR. Now I'm going to show you what the files are going to look like. Uh, so here's the folder unzipped. So first of all, I've created a Game Boy Colors ROMs folder and a Game Boy ROMs folder. And then these are all the folders that the emulator is going to come with. Um, so there's the PS2 Info GB. Uh, dot elf so you can pick any one of these two um, there's also going to be a readme file um, if you need to know anything about the emulator so that's going to give you a whole bunch of information uh, so basically just transfer all your games to these folders now we're going to get on the playstation 2 uh, i'm going to show you how to install it and a little bit of gameplay All right, now we are on the PlayStation 2. Um, plug in your free McBoot memory card and your hard drive or USB device. Uh, power on your system. Scroll down to you launch elf. Press X to load it. Now this should take you to the file browser. So press circle on the file browser. Go down to your mass folder, which is going to be your USB device. Press circle. Now find your info GB folder. Um, I've created a folder called Retro Emulators on mine. So go down to the folder, press circle. Go down to the Game Boy slash Game Boy Color Info Emulator. Press circle. Um, and now load up your info.elf file. Circle. And it should load up the emulator. There you go, you're in the emulator, now press start. Uh, scroll over to mass, which is your USB device. So this is basically the root of your USB device. So you're going to have to find your folder for the emulator. So mine's going to be uh, retro emulators. Press X. And there's mine, Game Boy slash Game Boy Color Info Emulator. Press X. Now, these are the two folders I've created with the ROMs. So GB ROMs and then GB C ROMs. I'm just going to load up a few just to show you that it works. So first, we're going to try out the Game Boy uh, ROMs. Press X. Let's load up uh, Super Mario Land. Press X. Now the start button is going to be the triangle button. Uh, you can also configure the buttons if you don't like the way they're mapped out. Uh, you can also stretch out the image. 
So you can go to stretch. You can make it uh, two times and it'll be the full screen. So everything loads up perfectly, there's no issues. Press start. Go down to back to the main menu. Uh, we're going to start Adventure Island. Now press start, uh, back to the main menu, we're going to load up a couple of uh, Game Boy Color ROMs, so find your Retro Emulators folder, Game Boy, Game Boy Color ROMs, um, let's load up uh, Zelda Link's Awakening. We're gonna exit, load another game quick, uh, quickly, back to the main menu. Uh, we'll do Donkey Kong Lang 3. So there you go, that's how you load up the uh, Game Boy and the Game Boy Color emulator on the PlayStation 2. Uh, my previous video, I have the Game Boy Advance emulator if you want to go check that out. So I will leave both links in the uh, pinned comment. One to my personal page and one to the official download link. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And on to the next one.